Welcome to part two of Tiger's short game practice analysis. So this one here is hitting a one arm shot. Now I love one arm or right arm or trail arm practice for short game and full swing is useful as well. But particularly for the short game, because when you're using one arm, particularly the, the right arm, you really can't, you have to move the club and your the mechanics of your body and your arm, the sequencing, the whole deal, the pressure fairly efficiently otherwise it's very difficult to get the club back onto the ball so the the one arm practice forces you to make more of the correct mechanics and um, for want of a better way of saying it to allow you to get the club onto the ball and if you move the club in funny directions in terms of in out whatever it may be it wouldn't feel like you could get the club back onto the ball simply and effectively so this is a fantastic way now i, I believe tiger uses this to practice how he unloads the club into the ball how much extension he's got in his right arm and his right wrist coming down so um, the angles as he's built up here between the the forearm the bicep and then the the wrist as he comes down he's gonna expand or lose a lot of that as you can see right here to effectively shallow the club out or make sure the club doesn't hit down at the ball too much because if he's pulled the handle directly down from here maintaining the structure in his arm and wrist the the handle or the butt of the club would travel very vertically toward the ground and then that would create what we call a steep angle of attack and generally dig the club into the ground or, or not create the shot that he's looking for so when he comes down here he unloads that arm and wrist straightening it out this allows the bottom of the club to hit the ground which effectively makes the club bounce off the floor rather than dig stops the handle hitting or traveling to the vertical toward the ground and as he allows the club to hit into the ground he, he just then uses the ground to basically kind of stop stop the club so this takes some energy out of the shot or the um, or the swing which then obviously limits the amount of energy that's going into the ball also, I believe he looks like he's hitting this slightly out of the toe, which would also reduce the amount of energy transferred to the ball, hence why the ball doesn't travel very far, because he's got a, a, a reasonable length backswing, a fairly long backswing. A good amount of speed into the ball, but the ball just kind of pops and doesn't really go anywhere, and then just trickles down the slope here. So so now then, he puts he applies his second or his first um, front arm there, and then uses the feelings generated on the one arm practice to create the same shot. And the reason this is good out the thick rough here, because he's um, effectively coming down quite sharply into the ball or, or steep at this point, but then as he unloads quickly at the end, so he's got a, a decent amount of angle of attack or, or a strong angle of attack to help him get through some of the thick grass, avoid the grass that's higher than the ball, because if he came in very shallow, say where the club head was coming in more, so the club head angle is, is here at this stage, if he came in more from this angle, which we call a, a shallower angle, less vertical, there's a good chance he'd hit the grass before the ball, which when he's got longer grass and, and grass is surrounding the ball, you want to avoid that. And if you're trying to get mainly ball contact, or at least avoid most of the grass, because otherwise that can influence how the club's going to get the ball. So um, he's got a, a long backswing that creates a, a fairly sharp angle of attack initially, which then, as he extends that right arm and wrist, shallows out late so he avoids most of the grass that's back here as you can see where the club's coming in from the club's got a pretty direct route onto the back of the ball he then extends his right arm on the and wrist to make sure the bottom of the club hits the ground he looks like he catches the ball out of the toes takes some of the energy out of the shots so the ball doesn't trans travel too far because he's got a long swing and then the ball just pops up and he's obviously maintaining the loft on the club face as he hits into the ground so the club's almost kind of stunning off the off the floor or off the bottom of the gra grass and the next shot's basically an exaggerated version of this as he's kind of like a what we call a toe flop so he sets up very open relative to the target with his feet that's going to allow him to swing across the ball so it's easy for the swing to travel left of where he wants to go which is over here because of where his feet and his body are pointing he swings the club back down his body line, face is very open again, a la bunker shot or, or flop shot. As he swings down, he swings across the ball or swings down the line of his body. 
again he's going to hit the ball out of the toe to take some of the energy out of the swing or the energy transfer isn't as great into the ball he's going to hold the face open big long follow through big long swing high right side of the body which you know, we already highlighted is crucial for a good short game and on the way through he, he keeps his arm or his hand radius very close to him so his arms aren't effectively stretched out on the way through again that allows him to partly shallow the angle of attack into the into the ground or into the ball maintain loft and again have somewhere for that long swing with a good amount of speed to travel to at the end and again the height the ball just pops up a bit higher now travels a, a little bit further and again you do need to play these shots with plenty of speed to get the ball to travel quite vertically up and then just drop down into the green Okay, I hope this video has given you a little bit of insight into what some of the best players do, or one of the best short game players who's ever lived does when he practices, and maybe a few things that you could uh, consider for practicing with your game.